I have a word for someone. I actually heard this very clear this morning. You don't believe it? Well, believe it. Believe it, okay? I heard the Holy Spirit say, believe it, okay? So, I just want to say that remember that your thoughts, your tongue, your mind is very powerful. And the enemy oftentimes preys on your mind because, remember I told you guys in the past, if no one can sabotage you, no one can block you. No man can curse who God has blesses, who, who God blessed, okay? No man can curse who God blesses, okay? Um, what people will do is try to get you to self-sabotage your blessings, okay? What they will do is get you to participate in negativity. What they will do is get you to give up on yourself, give up on life itself, give up on God's plans for your life. How did they do that? Trying to make you tired, trying to wear you out, trying to drain you, as much things as possible in order to manipulate, listen to this, in order to manipulate the way you see things, the way you think about things. Of course, it's easy for someone who may not be going through much to be happy every day. I totally get it, you know, compared to someone who's going through warfare, who's waking up and when they wake up the circumstances around them is not healthy or things are not going well of course you may wake up feeling depressed or you may wake up feeling sad however it's up to you to choose how you're going to allow your circumstance or the things that are happening around you it's up to you how you're going to choose to let it affect you are you gonna let that dictate the type of faith that you have are you going to let that cause you to lose hope in God, lose faith in God? Or are you going to say, God, despite what's going on around me, I'm grateful to be awake. Despite what's going on around me, I trust you and I trust the plans that you have for my life. I trust the plans that you have for my life. Even though it may feel like things are not working out according to your plans or it may not look like it's working out according to your plans because there's so much going on. You are God. You are God, the creator of the Alpha Omega. You are the creator of the universe. You are the creator of all things. You created the ocean. You created the earth. You created everything. So if you are the creator of all things, I know you are more powerful than the blockages that I'm facing. I know that you are more powerful than my enemies. I know that you are more powerful than my circumstances. Therefore, I know that if you say something's going to happen, I believe and I trust that it's going to happen. I believe it. I believe it, Lord. I believe it. I understand that we're not going to be happy every day. And that's toxic positivity. Because you can't expect everyone to be happy every day. However, God says all you need is faith as small as a mustard seed. Hey, that rhymes. All you need is faith as small as a mustard seed. Hey. <laughs> God said, all you need is faith as small as a mustard seed. That's it. God is not saying, hey, I need you to have so much faith. I need your faith to be so big, big like a tree, big like a mountain. No, he's saying he needs your faith to be as big as a mustard seed, as small as a mustard, not even big, as small as a mustard seed. That's the minimum he's asking you for. Just to believe in him a little bit little bit just believe in him a little bit you know what I mean I know it's easier said than done because you're looking at me and you're like girl you ain't going through nothing you know you may have this or you may have that or you don't seem like you're struggling um I've been through a lot I struggled a lot I struggled a lot that's why today I'm extremely humble because I know where I came from and I know what I've been through. But let me tell you something. One thing about me is even when I went through my trials and tribulations, I didn't give up on God. I never did. When I was in the shelters, I didn't give up on God. When I was homeless with my kids, I didn't give up on God. You know, when I was in a very toxic environment and I had to do toxic things to feed my kids, I didn't give up on God. I prayed on my knees before I walked into that toxic environment. Okay, 
I prayed before I walked into sin. Literally, I prayed before I walked into sin. I'm not condoning it, but what I'm saying is my faith was strong then and my faith is still strong now. All the things that I've been through, my faith always stood. My faith was always there and it never left me. No matter how much warfare I went through, no matter how much attacks I went through, even when I was on my deathbed, even when I was in a psych ward, okay? Even when I was in these abusive relationships, okay? My faith was still there. My faith still stood there. God still kept me through all that. There was times where I was so upset. There was even a time where I thought, you know, Christianity was fake. There was a time where I even, a time where I didn't even, I'm like, you know, I don't even know if I believe in God no more. But guess what? I repented and I took it back because a few days later, <laughs> a few days later, I realized that it was God who kept me. And I went back on my knees and started praying after I went through that. So we go through our ups and downs. You see what I'm saying? We go through our ups and downs. But let me tell you something. God will never forsake you. All he requires from you is to have faith and to believe it. Okay? Now the point of me telling you this is to let you know that how important faith is. But I want to tell you this word. But I want to say all that so you don't come in here with your negative self-talk and your ne negative thoughts in your mind. Because a lot of times when people hear words, they say, oh, y'all always say that. Or, oh, it's not going to happen to me. It may happen to someone else. Or, oh, I don't believe it. Or, da -da -da -da. you're holding yourself back when you do that. Do you know that? You are holding yourself back when you do that. The amount of people that said, man, I didn't think this word for me stuff, this word was for me stuff. And I literally just got my breakthrough. Even though I didn't think the word was for me, I, I still had a little bit of hope in me and it came through, you know? And what I'm trying to tell you is receive it. The devil tries to block God's children from receiving. That's it. The devil tries to block God's children from receiving. If the devil can block you from opening that door to receive by using you, to work against yourself by using you to have negative self-talk, negative self-doubt, negative mindset, he's going to use you. He doesn't need to send a witch or a warlock to block you because all he has to do is put doubt in you, make you block yourself. That's why God says, you just have to have faith in me a little bit, as small as a mustard seed. That's it. Because he knows how the devil operates. So he's not expecting much from you other than the mustard seed. That's it. Someone's life is about to change drastically out of nowhere unexpectedly and it's going to be beautiful and when god changes your life it's going to be a miracle it's going to be a miracle it may be like one of those overnight success you may be going from one thing to something else overnight right um <laughs> i'm done wow wow you may i'm just this is god is funny he just he just joking around but he's giving me an example analogy to give you, but he's joking around. You know, he has jokes. Holy Spirit, you have jokes. You may wake up in a new Bugatti, okay? Or you may wake up in a new, in a foreign car. <laughs> You're not saying how, like, when your life changes overnight, you wake up in a new form, right? Woke up in a form, right? He just playing around, but that was funny. But, um, yeah, your life is going to change drastically. You see what I'm saying? So... God wants you to believe it because he said that before I, before I start recording this, he said basically that you're going to be like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening to me. It's like you're going to have to pinch yourself so many times because you can't believe how drastic this change was, how your life went from this to this. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be one of those. But God said, believe it. Believe it. And believe him. Believe in him. Keep your faith. No matter what you're going through keep the faith don't let the devil win don't let them use you against yourself don't let them use your mind against yourself okay faith is tested when all the odds are against you because of course if god gives you everything that you prayed for your faith will be so strong right how you will know if you're truly a faithful servant to god if you truly have faith in god is when you still trust in him during your trials and tribulations. That's where the real test is. Look what happened to Job. Satan said that if God took away everything Job had, Job would switch on him. And he didn't. Job was faithful. 
Job was faithful. No matter how much times, you know, Satan inflicted Job. Remember, Satan said that God to God that Job was going to switch up on him. Job never switched up on God. He was frustrated. He complained, but he didn't switch up on God. He still had faith. He still had faith. You know what I mean? Even when his own friends tried to rebuke him and make him feel bad for you know being upset about what he's going through that's why i said god doesn't expect you to be perfect he doesn't expect you to not complain and to you know be okay with the things happening all he requires from you is having just enough faith as small as a mustard seed that's it he just wants you to receive and believe that his plans for you still stands because that is what will ultimately help you get towards your destination because if you give up on god completely and have no faith at all you're giving the devil what he wants now the devil's gonna be like hey i didn't even have to send a witch or warlock to block him or her because he or she's doing it themselves he or she wakes up every day with negative thoughts every day thinking bad about themselves every day thinking bad about god's plans every day thinking bad about life itself so i don't have to do anything to sabotage them right to manipulate them because they're already doing it to themselves you see what i'm saying when they go hard and they have to do the spell works and they have to do certain things to you it's because they know you're strong it's because they know that you're strong and you're able to overcome life itself life's obstacles itself right so because they know you're you're able to overcome that that's why they have to stoop to the level of doing spell work on you witchcraft on you doing things to try to force you into being negative to try to force you into being doubtful because they know that without them doing all of that you're a very strong person your faith is strong right so fight fight continue to have faith in god and don't give up okay we all have ups and down days. Even I have up and down days. You know what I mean? Some of you guys, you're, you're like, I'm tired of starting over. Every time I receive something, it's gone or it just gets wiped away, etc., etc., etc. Don't worry. Continue having faith in God and just continue being obedient. I'm telling you, he will pour more in your cup. Just like he poured in your cup last time. He poured in your cup again before that. He poured in your cup again before that. He gonna pour in your cup again after what you're going through. Okay? Trust in him. I love you guys. Bye.